whatever its friend the U.S. wants it to do. They say jump. Australia says how high. Uh, But there's just one little issue of a Mr. Julian Assange. Assange is Australian, but he has been persecuted by four governments without the help of Australia pretty much at all. Uh, The U.S., the U.K., Sweden and Ecuador. uh, Those are the four countries that the United Nations is pushing for answers on why they're treating this guy like garbage, what you wouldn't worse wish on your worst enemy uh and meanwhile australia is like hmm what who julian assange he's one of us you want us to do something about it uh to the point that julian assange's um lawyers have called him basically stateless diplomatically alone they've left him out to dry because they are afraid of the bully that is the u.s and the uk um again every time they go to court him basically stateless diplomatically alone. They've left him out to dry because they are afraid of the bully that is the U.S. and the U.K. Um, Again, every time they go to court, they say basically he's got nobody. Shalom, shalom. This is for the house of mourning, for the house of faith. This is for the believers. We are getting closer and closer to World War III. Prophecies being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. May the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh shine mercy on us. Okay, this is only for the house of mourning, to the whole for elect out there. Shalom to the apostles, elders, and double honors to them of great millstone who rule well. And you heard what she said, the bullies. Who are the bullies? She said the U.S. and the U.K. All right. Now, we'll come back to this. Let's get the, uh, let's go into the Old Testament. Joel 3 and verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. And that's where we're heading. We're heading for World War Three. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. So all the nations that were bullied, right, for the most part, by the U.S. and the U.K., They're going to retaliate because now a lot of these nations have the same nuclear capabilities, military power. All right. So as we're getting close to World War Three, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father is stirring it up, man. Okay. Why this man is the bully? Because it goes back to the blessing that our father, forefather Isaac gave Esau Edom. All right, and if you could receive it, Isaac was Yahweh Shai, and this is why Yahweh Shai blessed him with the sword, and now he's going to strip him away. He's going to strip away that sword, and he's going to dethrone, you know, this devil through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Revelation six and four reads, and then went out another horse that was red. All right, who came out red? Esau, like a hairy garment. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. All right. And that's that same sword. That's that same sword. All right. That Isaac gave him the blessing. This is why this man is able to control the planet earth. This is why it says that... um. Uh, he, he, he's, uh, let's go to Revelation 17. What's that? Uh, uh, verse one. And there came one of the seven angels, which has seven vows and talk with me saying unto me, come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore, Babylon, the great America that sitteth upon many waters. In the scriptures, when you read certain words as trees, the field, um, the waters, you know, those are interchangeable. Those are the people. Those are nations, people. All right. And the United States of America has hundreds of embassy, military embassies around the world. This is why it says she set up upon many waters. All right. Uh think it's another one in Isaiah, if I'm mistaken, but we'll, we'll, that's cool enough right now. We'll get it. Let's, at least, let's listen. 
He's got no one behind him. Uh, now, as a reminder, Assange is being persecuted for journalism. He published a series of documents and a video from 2007 showing U.S. soldiers firing on civilians, a child, and a reporter who they had, who, the reporter had a camera. The soldier said, oh, that's probably a gun, and shot him anyway. When the child gets hit, the soldiers say, well, that's their fault for bringing a child into a war zone. It was a bus stop. No one was ever punished for this 2007 crime. Julian Assange was the proverbial shoot the messenger victim of this, even though both the Pentagon and President Biden, when he was vice president, all have said that they cannot prove that an American was harmed by the release of this information to the point that they tried to prove it in the trial against Chelsea Manning and were unable to prove who actually got hurt because it was Chelsea Manning who handed this information to Julian Assange, if you recall. Now, the web that has entangled Julian Assange is an example of how governments use their powers in the most arbitrary and corrupt way possible. Um, Australia is just happy to look the other way. This week, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was in Australia making weapons deals, big ones that we're gonna talk about in a second. When that pesky matter of Assange came up, uh, the Australian Foreign Affairs Minister, Penny Wong, who you see sit standing next to him on his right, um, confirmed that she had raised the case with the U.S. government, and she said, we have made clear our view that Mr. Assange's case has dragged on for too long and our desire that it be brought to a conclusion, and we've said publicly, and you would anticipate that that reflects also the position we articulate in private. Now, they're not saying his rights have been infringed, which they have. They're not saying he has not had a fair trial, which he hasn't. They're not saying he should be released, which he should, unequivocally. I'm comfortable saying that, uh, that yes, he should absolutely have been able to even wait out his extradition case outside of prison uh, because he's not been convicted of anything. Now, in response to this, Secretary Blinken says they can't comment on the extradition case, but they're not going to let this one go because Assange risked very serious harm to our national security. Now, again, the key word here is risk because the federal government tried to prove the harm in the Chelsea Manning case and was unable. Uh, it's not about harm done. It's about the embarrassment of the U.S. getting away with war crimes. Um, and the point was this, you know, Babylon the Great being the bullies, okay, of the world. Why? Because this is the great whore. All right, and this is uh, it's going to slowly stir up to World War Three, okay? Um, Putin lately, if you've been looking up the news, he's been giving warnings to the U.S. and the U.K. and NATO that you know if they continue to to slither their way and doing the things that they're doing, that they're going to risk a nuclear war. All right, and we understand through the scriptures, through prophecy, that that will happen. Okay, that will happen. That's it. All right. Um, let me get. Uh, I have one more scripture that I, I I wanted one more, but that's the point right there. So Revelation seventeen. And there came once one of the angels which had the seven vows. And talk with me, saying unto me, Come here that I will show unto thee the judgment of the great horde that sitteth upon many waters. Let's go to Isaiah 27 real quick through the Spirit. All right. Just came to my mind this scripture. All right. The deliverance of Israel. And that day the Lord Yahweh, Bahashom Yahweh Shai, with his sword and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent. Even the Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that's, that is in the sea. All right, and this is all parabolic because the sea, again, the waters, remember the, the whore that sitteth upon many waters, America, the sea represents the people. Okay, so this, this dragon that's in the sea is because it's overwhelmed the nation with its power. Like she said, the bullies. So the Lord, this is not Leviathan, you know, the serpent that the Lord is going to wake up in these last days. This is talk. This is parabolic. This is uh, this is uh, America being that serpent, that crooked serpent. Okay, 
That's where we read Revelation. Let's go to Revelation uh, 20, okay? And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, okay? And this is talking about the history, you know, so of you Edomites, you know, when you was in Saratoon under Jake, you know, being ruled under Jake, and you was uh, in Europe, the bottomless pit. The word pit is interchangeable with geographic lands, okay? As the scripture said in um, 2 Ezra chapter 5, that the Lord's uh, chosen him a pit, which is Jerusalem, all right? The holy land, our, our home, and that's where we're heading at. That's where we're going soon through the spirit of Yah by Shimmy Shah being transformed and coming back down, cleansing the earth through the spirit of Yah by Shimmy as Ezekiel 36 says, to refresh the earth and to come down and rule the planet earth, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai, Malak Dawadah, King David, the 12 and 144,000, all right, the gods of the earth once again ruling, all right, that's where we're approaching. But the point is, verse 2, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Okay? So now you know who's this crooked serpent that is spoken about in Isaiah 27, which is Esau, Edom. All right? And this is why this place is going down. All right? Let's go. Um, yeah, I think that was the point. Because she said the bullies. Let's go back to that without the help of Australia pretty much at all. Uh, the US, the UK, Sweden, and Ecuador, uh, those are the four countries that the United Nations is pushing for answers on why they're treating this guy like garbage, what you wouldn't worse, wish on your worst enemy. Uh, and meanwhile, Australia is like, hmm, what, who? Julian Assange, he's one of us? You want us to do something about it? Uh, to the point that Julian Assange's it, um, lawyers have called him him basically stateless diplomatically alone they've left him out to dry because they are afraid of the bully that is the u.s and the uk um again every time they go to court they say basically he's got nobody him basically stateless diplomatically alone they've left him out to dry because they are afraid of the bully that is the u.s and the uk um again okay so the bullies is babylon the greater u.s and the uk and that was the point all right so I just wanted to share this little bit of news with you brothers. You know, stay on your watch. Stay prayed up. You know, may the Lord have mercy on the house of David, the whole for elect out there, and to the elect lady. All right. Yah Bashim Yahshah, all praise and glory. To Yah Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Kakadat Shalom.